All right, I get to talk to myself now. All right, guys, we're gonna set up a laser here. Uh, now I gotta look at the camera. This is the part that's really annoying is actually looking and trying to talk to a camera when there's no one there. And you gotta imagine that there's a person there and there's people there that wanna listen to you. It's weird. All right, so we're gonna set up a laser. Tavo's setting up our uh, tripod. Gonna put the laser on it, set it at zero. We're then going to shoot one of our uh, curb stakes that has top of curb on it. Have our elevation for top of curb. And then we are going to dig a trench across flat to a point just behind the machine. So we set the laser, laser up. Doesn't matter which direction it shoots, it's a rotary, so. We set her on zeros. All right, so what we're doing here is we're shooting the hub elevation. Which we've got of a fill of 121 to top of curb. Now, is that the right one we should be shooting? Back of curb? Yeah. Back of curb, Phil, that's top of curb. We don't have a top of curb over here. That's radius. Okay, so what we have here is the radius of four feet to back a curb. So if you were to put a string line on that hub, pull it string line four feet out and then went in a circle, that would be the back of curb. So I'm just going to go based on this one to get my depth, right? Yeah. So on this receiver, this point right here is the top where the laser is hitting so he's measuring down to bring to go up so lasers are weird it's all, down is up up is down <laughs> tavo's calculators under his hard hat and that's the elevation we need coming across here Thirty-two inches, like everything else, right? Is it? I don't know. I'll double check. Because, keep in mind, this is top of curb, not not road grade. So to you 36. need to add, you need to add six inches to that, because the curb's going to be six inches tall. Total. Yeah. And that'll put us under the road grade 30 inches. Or 32 inches under the road grade. Yeah, they want at least 32 inches wide. What's up with all these weird fucking measurements? Keep changing it up on this. What size is that bucket? Let's measure that bucket. That one's two feet. Don't worry about that one. We'll measure the flat one. Because this hard pan sucks. What do we got? 36. At the tip, it's 36. Okay, we'll just make them 36 inch ditch. They'll just have to have extra. And they just want it from there to there. Yep. Oh yeah, so that's basically how we set up a laser. It's pretty simple. Um, if we were doing a slope, we'd dial, dial in a slope, look at the plans and get the uh, slope on the uh, plans. And then we put that in there, shoot our hub, same as we just did. And uh, just, and then you shoot your hub, get your elevation cut to flow line of the pipe, and then you just run with it. And usually we'll check two or three hubs if there's a long enough run um, to uh, do that. 
All right, this is a happy good morning on a Sunday. Uh, we're just out starting, to, did a 6 a.m. start. Just gonna get a few things done on the project and then we'll be off. Uh, so probably just did about five hours on this day. Starting off with the two foot bucket to uh, get started just to see how hard the ground is. Hey Tavo, you really ought to have your vest on. Yeah, but wearing a black shirt on the job site, they're not, that's, and I've got you on film. Come on, bud. Yeah. So I'm going to switch over to my three footer. Uh, we've got fill ground that we're digging in. So it's actually going to work out pretty good because you'll see what happens here in a few minutes. Uh, we locate a pipe that is really close to our green. Enjoy the uh, advertising. Listen for it. So here I'm pulling right across the top of the rock. You can hear it crunching. And I lift just slightly to just skim at the top of the trench level. Um, I'm not too worried because normally we have about a foot of rock over top of any pipe. And there you can see the uh, marking tape.
put it back on there. Find top of pipe. And this is where the interesting part comes in. Okay, looks normal, looks normal. He's digging down, he's digging down. And holy crap, the pipe is like right there. Missed it by about an inch. We'll chase it all the way back, make sure I didn't touch it. Chase it back, make sure I didn't hit it. So that laser shot he just took on it uh, is showing that the pipe is in our grade. So what we did is we actually oh, went over good. and talked to the uh, guys that were working for as a subcontractor and asked them if this was, uh, if we could go over or under it. They told us to reset our grade to, to go over it. We did that and we kept digging. buffer between the pipe and their pipe.
a good place for you to give me a hand signal. If you've got your hand already out like this, it's quicker. I'm going to get a hand signal faster from you if you uh, are already out there. Okay? Because if you got to bring your hand up from your side, that's a delay. off see how much rock we got covered And here's the reaction I'm looking for that I'm, uh, I just told him to uh, have his hand out. That's the reason why I tell him to have the hand out, is I need that very quick reaction because of how narrow of a margin I uh, allow myself. All that good, huh? There's another responsibility of the grade checkers making sure that if you're that you're sitting on center and make sure that you're digging on center so you're not just getting all willy-nilly. Basically the grade setter is a, a babysitter for the operator. Did we check to see if there's anything coming this way?
way. Davo. This way. That's just dirt backfill that they got right there right now. It could be an old trench line. Yeah, I see foundation. go backfill and we gotta dig the rest of that water line over there at that building <laughs> 